Welcome back. In this video we'll install a extension called PyScript. Uh, this is a bit different than what you uh, than what you may think uh, the Python script that we installed for the set set mode uh, script. But um, what this does is gives us a full Python support uh, with scripts so that we can use different modules and do some really cool things. Um, I'll demonstrate some of that at the end but uh, for now let's go ahead and install it. We'll go to Hacks, Integrations, Explore and Download uh, Repositories, and then we'll search for the repository called PyScript. It looks like this. We'll click it as usual. We'll click Download, and it'll ask us if we want to download it. We'll say Download, and I believe, as per normal, that we have to uh, we have to restart. So we'll go to settings, restart home assistant, restart, restart, and while we wait for this to happen, I'll remind you to uh, like this video and also uh, subscribe to the channel. It helps us get us exposure. We are growing day by day. Uh, our Discord is very active and lots of helpful people in there solving problems. So if you or um, up against a wall and, and, and having issues, uh, feel free to jump in. Super friendly people, and uh, and most problems are uh, are, are being solved. Um, so at this point, we'll go uh, into uh, settings, and then devices and services. We'll add an integration, and we'll add PyScript that we just added. So PyScript. And then we want to say allow all imports. This is very important. And um, access has as a global variable. And then we'll hit submit. And now you are done. Um, so this is not very exciting. And uh, you'll see in the coming videos how we'll use this. But I'll go and give a demonstration uh, using my production. And I'll just go to um, developer tools services. So PyScript, um, you can write these scripts and it will give you the ability to create your own service, which is, uh, which is really a neat thing. Uh, and I've done a few, like uh, something simple like this is uh, get a dad joke. So when we call the service, it will send us back a response variable, which we can then use in the uh, blueprint automations and don't worry you won't have to do any of this stuff I'm just showing you behind the scenes of what PyScript does so as you can tell I called the service it reached out to an API which is um, something that used on the web to, uh, to transfer data uh, from uh, a web server over into a format that uh, we can use in Home Assistant so it, res it responds with uh, the joke is dogs can't operate MRI machines but cats scan ba bum bump yeah uh, and anytime you call the service, <coughs> it will give you another uh, random joke. Did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? Great food, no atmosphere. But I'm bump. But uh, seriously, so we can do other things like um, the big one that I'm working on now is uh, Wikipedia. So we can do a search term. Um, so we, let's say the Great Wall of. China, right? We'll hit call service, and here we're getting even more information because we're pulling different things. Uh, so the title is Great Wall of China. Here is the thumbnail picture, and then the extract is a uh, is a few sentences that describe the Great Wall of China, and then this will be put um, in a visible form uh, using View Assist. Again, you don't have to do any of this extra legwork. I'm just showing that uh, the, pi the the power of uh, script so that you can uh, extend the functionality of view assist so we'll have videos on adding um, uh, the Wikipedia one uh, the joke one more than likely uh, and a few other things uh, as we progress uh, through so until next time this is it